Part 1. Rational Functions. At Section A, Review of Functions and Polynomials. Ha <laughs> ha. It's review time. Okay, time to buckle down. You remember the idea of an algebraic function. A variable appears by itself on one side of an equation with one or more other variables on the other side. Like y equals 4x minus 1 and z equals 3x plus 5y. Whenever you see an equation like this, we say that the solo variable is a function of whatever variables appear on the other side of the equation. So when y equals 4x minus 1, y is a function of x. As soon as we know a numerical value for x, we can substitute it into the equation to compute the corresponding value for y. This process is called evaluating the function. It illustrates the general concept of a function, that for each choice of the independent variable x, there is one and only one corresponding value of the dependent variable y. The equation tells us exactly how to determine that y value. In the case of the equation, y equals 4 times x minus 1, if x equals 3, then y equals 4 times 3 minus 1, or 12 minus 1, 11. Sometimes, to emphasize the fact that you're dealing with a function, the letter y is replaced by f of x, shorthand for a function of x. So the equations y equals 4x minus 1 and f of x equals 4x minus 1 are really interchangeable in most cases. Also, any other letter can be used in place of f. For example, you could see the equation y equals 3x squared minus 7 expressed as g of x equals 3x squared minus 7. There are different kinds of functions grouped into various categories. One main category is polynomials. Polynomials! <laughs> polynomials are functions that can be expressed as combinations of coefficients, variables, and exponents. Some examples of polynomials are 5x squared, 4x cubed minus 6x plus 5, and x to the 11th power minus 3.4x squared plus 1 half. Remember, the coefficients are constants, or any real numbers. The variables are letters, and the exponents have to be whole numbers. One way to think about polynomials is this. Given a value for x, you should be able to figure y using only addition, subtraction, and multiplication. If there is division anywhere in the calculation, it only involves fractional constants that are coefficients, like one-half. So it should be no surprise that polynomials can be added, subtracted, and multiplied. And the result is always another polynomial. These results can be put into standard forms, graphed, evaluated, and generally manipulated. You should be pretty up to speed on those operations from College Algebra Parts 1 and 2. But if you're still a little hazy, it's not too late to pick up those first two tapes for a little review.